Hey everyone, and welcome to part 10 of my blind playthrough of Silent Hill 3. In the last episode, we started to make our way through Brookhaven Hospital, again, this time as Heather, and uh, we found some things and found out some things that were interesting and weird, in, in some cases more weird than others. Uh, for example, in, in her flashlight, you could see that little doll dressed in a pink dress next to a book. We, apparently, Heather has herself a little, uh, a bit of an admirer in the, in the form of a patient here at the, at the mental hospital. Um, so we'll, we're yet to see how that unfolds. I apologize for last time that um, I missed two of these books. I did not. It, it makes sense now that who, Stanley seems to be, move, if it is Stanley moving them and, and not just writing them, he seems to be moving them to different locations so that she'll find them along the way. And I missed two of them. I decided to keep it. I think that I'm going to end up playing this game more than once in this playthrough anyway. Uh, not this playthrough. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll do more playthroughs maybe uh, in, in this uh, Let's Play. Um, this might be the first time that I do that, uh, just cause it's super new. Um, oh boy, here we go again. Uh, there was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore. The, oh, the alarm clock. Okay. I read this one already. Though he's a liar. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry guys. I forgot. I read this before I, I, I solved this one. What did he get from that again? Oh, I don't remember what we got. Uh, oh, the camera. That was it. Unlike a normal camera, you can see the developed photos right away. So at some point, presumably we're going to have to take a picture of something. Is this equipped? Good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep running around with this sword and just uh oh boy, where are we gonna go? Um I'm gonna check that elevator. Oh, that's right, we, we have access to the stairs now. We're just gonna go we're gonna go to the third floor. Oh, what was it? S S seven and S twelve are Leonard and uh Stanley Coleman's uh uh what do you call it? Uh they were their rooms. So if I leave here and I go back in, is that thing gone already? That thing is gone already. So either he's able to move around in and outside. He's allowed to, he can actually dip in and out of the other side. Or there's like some kind of, like he's going through the vent system. Because otherwise, we just left the room, we come back in and that thing is gone. Like I know from a video game perspective, I'm supposed to just leave it be that like, oh, well, it's just moved to the next location for you. And that, you know, they just didn't take the proper precautions to uh, take into account of you're going back in there. But maybe I should be considering that as, like, that's one of the loopholes in, uh... oh yeah, I forgot. I have to remember this also, that there's a block. Um, that's one of the things in video games that tends to be, uh, those assumptions tend to be kind of uh, thrown in the, in, the, in the player's face when they do it too often. That it's just like, oh yeah, it's just the game. And then it turns out that it was actually, it they actually wrote... Uh, uh, that's close this one. Okay. And does it show? Yes, it does. Okay, good. So we're going to get out of here. I imagine we're going to see some, uh, I'm kind of slow there, Heather. Are we okay? We're okay. See you later guys. All right. There you are. Oh wait, I just remembered. Uh, how do you do this again? If I do... Nope, she doesn't She doesn't run like, like Harry did. Harry never taught her that move. Okay, uh, oh, actually I guess I'm just going in here so I can, I forgot. I, I, in my head I was going to the elevator and I was already trying to figure out how to, how to fight better, but I think we're done with the second floor. Is, are we on the second floor still? Good. The locker rooms. Yep, 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 yep. That's where we got the acetone or the nail polish remover, wherever it was called. I, I don't remember. What was that? Let's go up to the roof first. I get the feeling it's going to be closed. Oh, must remember how to block quickly. Okay, that that's not, that's pretty fast. Oh, no, that's not it. I have to, like, really hit it. Okay, just hit the thing and mash the square. That'll, that'll be better. And over here, is there anything? No, it doesn't seem to be. And then on this wall, nothing like written or something. I don't know. Okay. Ooh. Is Pyramid Head going to be out here? Is that notebook still going to be on the floor? Oh. Uh, hello. Oh, my God. Oh, she's looking at something. Oh, no. No, you don't. No, 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 no. Oh, God. She's looking at them, not at the things that could be. Oh, she's looking at something? No, she's looking at the monster again. Oh god. Oh, it has a spike over here, like Harry Mason. No, no, not that. This. This. Okay, he's broken. Okay. Oh, and there's a ladder. Oh, no. 
Let's run oh, this way and then turn this way and then. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That was tough. Man. It's amazing how in battle, how slow movements feel. But yeah, we got some, we got a bunch of submachine ammo there. Oh, I can almost I keep almost pushing uh, start instead of. It's over here in supplies. We have two more clips. I believe that, that it's like 32 per clip if it said, if I remember. 32 rounds of ammunition, great for continuous firing. I'm assuming that that is like a DPS kind of deal. Like, it, it and probably very, not, not a lot of cooldown. Because after you fire the shock gun, this is three, right? Yeah, okay, cool. And there's no enemies here. That's a little surprising. Let's, uh, let's actually, I'm going to use this to just get, I want to start. No, why'd you do that? Look, you look where I tell you to do. Look, man. What's over here? Oh, it's open. Uh oh, stand. Damn, I have to remember to mash it. So this is where this is almost like the solitary confinement thing. I can. Okay, cool. So I can keep I can keep it ready, ready position for the. Okay, I was gonna say I remember when James was here. This was like a messy place. Oh, there's a big slash there. Anything? No. Oh. Uh, over here? Is she looking at anything or just the door? I guess the door. Yeah, I, I imagine. Let's, let's get you out of here. I'm waiting. This is too quiet. I'm okay. This one's broken. This one is unlocked. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. That one's broken. So only one. Is this the one where blood? Where there was the bloody message? Oh, I knew it. Let's see how this works. Damn it. Okay, fine. Bang. I'm probably going to start, uh... Nothing in here, huh? Okay, yeah, it's just a room with, with things. So, whatever. So this whole thing was for nothing. That's a little weird. Like nothing at all. This one had nothing in it. Did I miss something? I'm surprised they didn't just be, they weren't just like, uh, I'm surprised they weren't just like, oh, it's broken. You can't get in there. I guess just for the fun of showing a nurse locked in there though. Okay. So I wonder how that works. Like when they go to attack me, is that is there enough time? What's here? Uh, nothing I would need. A bucket over here. Oh, okay, here we go. And there's a nothing but cleaning supplies in the locker. Some healing, stun gun battery too. I haven't used that variety of nothing I would need. Okay, so oh no. Okay, can I like attack? Can I attack this doll? Like, not attack it, but, like, would I, like, cut it in half? That would be pretty funny if you can cut it in half. Or, like, just, you hit it and, like, falls into pieces. And then maybe the next time you see it, it's all, like, scotch taped up. There's a good variety, but nothing I would need. No, no, the book. The book. We got to read these things now before people get more mad at me. I bet, I, I, I bet that when the time comes that people see, when this video goes live, I'm going to get a bunch of, uh, of annoyed people that I missed two of them. Really, I'm sorry about that. I feel pretty bad about it. I thought about loading, but I'd come. I then it wouldn't have been. I would have had to reduce. Ah, no, I, I suppose I could have redone it, huh? Heather, my most sacred lover. Jesus, these are getting more and more crazy. I'm always watching you, no matter where you are or what you may be doing. I have never lost sight of you. I wonder if he really can kind of dip in and out. Because then he could watch her like all the time, like almost like maybe even he could be in between the two, and so she can't see him. Just from a, just to, to make it more creepy, like that would be. I know you feel intensely lonely. Yeah, but you know what? He might be delusional, and j they said that he he has he he does have. He, the other one had hallucinations, but they said that he had like a manic obsession, <clears throat> or something to that effect. I know you feel intensely lonely. Yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in in the way any longer. The single key to this door. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. They have met. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. He calls her Heather. Otherwise, I would say maybe he knew Alessa. 
and he's just transferring to her, which obviously he could do because technically it's arguable that they actually are the same person. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask the idiot doctor. Behind the shelves in the under... Oh, I know where it is. We couldn't do anything there before. Okay, okay. That's There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital. I mean all of Silent Hill. Except me. All right. Stanley Coleman. Shoot. This means two things to me. Number one is that... um Actually, I'm going to... I think I might take advantage of this save. Ah, actually, no, it's okay. I think we're okay. I, I suppose that we... um. Anything to say about these? No, no, and this one's really ripped. What is this? That looks like it says We the People. Oh! Is that what's up? What was... That pattern is on whatever says We the People right there? Okay, anyway, we're going to go. I wonder if they are thinking... I thought for sure enemies were going to pop up now. Let's uh, use L more because it's, it's hard to say. And this does work, so don't do not do that. I have no interest in going... What's this? No? Oh, I thought that maybe the blood there was indicative of the fact that I could... Uh... So let's see. Yeah, let's see if we can go into there. We need to go to the basement now anyway. This won't bring me to the basement. And I don't want to run... Usually I run in here, but enemies... The game remembers where enemies are. The game seems to remember where enemies are when... Uh, there's that again. Always between those two floors, huh? Uh, the, the game seems to remember where enemies are. So if you enter a room and they start coming toward you, the next time you go in that room, they are where they moved to, not where they began. Uh, were, were there... No, it was just the storeroom, which is, seems to be where we're going now. Oh my god. Creeps me out again. Oh my god. Wait a minute. I, is that the game making that noise or is it fireworks? Today is July 4th. So, uh, wait. Oh, oh, it was that one. I don't know why I thought. I don't remember that. I don't remember that light situation. But I can't squeeze in there. No, the shelf. Isn't that the shelf in the garage, whatever? I thought that now that we had this information... Was that light always doing that? Oh, no. Oh, okay. How about here? This Maybe this is not the underground garage. And this, this still doesn't work? Okay, hit the button. It's time. No? Okay. Maybe this is not the underground garage. Man, that those noises I was hearing, now that I think about it, sound suspiciously similar to what I was hearing yesterday. I wonder if it is the game, and I'm thinking it's fireworks. Because there have been fireworks going since yesterday as people have been playing around with them. Like, I guess, impatient. All right. Still nothing. Okay, I keep expecting... Okay, I'm expecting this to be... Uh, it's locked. Another one. Wait a minute. When he said the key, I thought I was looking for a key. I was looking for a number. What else do we have to try? We just got the camera. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Let me try that. What if we take a... <clears throat> I figured that there was going to be something we were going to take a picture of that would show us something that... Okay, that, 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 that's... By the way, that's not the, the firework noise that I was talking about. That's just a, a scary noise. <clears throat> that seems to happen when we go between the second and third floors. Okay. Let's try again. This time, we'll go around this freaking thing. And then it's this one. And then over here... Oh, I get it. 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 She can't go through, but the camera can. She's going to put her ca the arm through the camera. Uh, she's going to hold the camera and take a picture of the number that we need. Oh, damn it. How many times am I going to do that? Yep, that's it. She's going to put the camera and take a picture. There she goes. 
Oh, I man, I, I thought for sure something was going to grab her. Not like grab her, grab her, but make her jump and therefore make me jump. Three, seven, four, nine. Okay, off we go. I like the puzzles in this one so far. I really do. I really feel like they're always difficult. Just like one, I think, actually. One, they felt very fair. They were fun in that they were challenging. So I felt satisfied and, and like, not proud of myself, but kind of, you know, you feel like you feel good about having solved a puzzle. I got that feeling, but they never took me so long. And even the times that I got it right away, I still appreciated it. Like the the hand grenade that was really a blow dryer. Like that was that was like fun. It was fun to like be like, oh, I know what they're doing. That's cool. And then like you see the thing like all dead in the water that was going to try and kill you. Okay. Now. It's only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. Okay. 3749. What's it? 3749. Three. Ooh. Damn it. I think I did it right. Unlocked. Okay. <clears throat> oh, gosh. Maybe I should save now. This is the one? Yeah. I didn't save before, but now, now it feels like this is a little bit more of a... So, was there any... I wonder, was there anything else? Oh, man. That's weird. Oh, I haven't saved into the motel. Oh, how interesting. That's why. Five hours might not be indicative of the actual time I've spent in this game. Some like when I'm like doing things like, like if I if I'm editing or re rendering or uploading, there sometimes the game is on in the background. Uh, then again, it could be five hours for all I know. I've played quite a bit. Fun game. I'm having fun. Here we go. Wow, really? Okay, surely these doors are gonna. There's a lot of doors here. Uh oh. Oh god. Okay, get ready. All right. Oh, there's something over here. What the hell? Uh, it's a magazine. Just some kind of gossip magazine. Teaching despair. Hope house. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill. Oh, is this going to be like lore about somebody? Maybe Leonard and Stanley. An orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children were kidnapped and brainwashed. Oh, for like the, I don't want to call it a cult. Like for them, it was a religion. It wasn't really a cult. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society. The SHSSS, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, temp. Temp? I don't know what that means. Does that mean a temporary name because they haven't, they're not putting the real name or, or, or something? Uh, who, or maybe they don't have his permission to use his name? Who lives near the Hope House had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time. That's interesting, though. The children thing, that usually means that the um, the author of the article added it for context. But technically it could be an assumption, couldn't it? Unless it maybe confirmed it. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facilities. Round concrete tower. I'm imagining like an obelisk, but like a, like a tall cylinder kind of thing. Is that what they mean by round? Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers fervent belief... But its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite, chosen people, has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. 
That is so strange. Because if it were Alessa's memories, then she wouldn't have been in Hope House, would she? Oh, but her mother probably ran it. So she probably hung out with the kids there. So it, it might, maybe it is. It doesn't make sense that Heather would be there. Why would Harry bring her there? It would make any sense at all. So now I'm thinking more that Harry, like, just, like, scooped her up and ran the hell out of there. And, um, and ignoring the stupid notebooks crap. <laughs> Again, I'm going to, I'm going to try and forget that happened. Um, that was even the thing. Uh, and, uh, so instead she's remembering what Alessa went through because Alessa would spend time there in that house, even though her mom, like her mom, even maybe part of her duties as like, whatever, she was kind of like a high up, right? If she wasn't like a priestess or something, then she was definitely something. Another alarm clock. Is that the same one? Tissue and an alarm clock, huh? Oh, maybe it's standard issue over here. The clock's broken, but otherwise no big deal. I suppose that makes sense. There are like some pretty extensive studies on how people who, when, if you don't know what time it is, if you're deprived of knowing um, the, how much time has passed when you've been in a, um, a controlled situation, the degradation of one's psychological state depreciates like fast, like really fast. In fact, I think one of the only failures is that I can remember off the top of my head of David Blaine uh, in his things that he did was the time that he deprived himself of that just to see what would happen. And he had to bail because he was, he was hallucinating so strongly. He was hearing voices and going like crazy. They say that it's akin to people who have schizophrenia, that you actually start to like lose your mind in a way that's like really harsh and very like, um, very like obviously negative, but just very hard to deal with. Like, it's like almost impossible to cope with what you're going through. Uh, I thought it was interesting. So when I'm, it's makes it makes sense that they give everyone a standard issue clock to like not have any of them be locked up in these rooms and be like going even further and are uh, insane just based on like just for the safety of the staff even maybe. Okay, I thought that that was going to be open. One of the I we have we're yet to go into the shower rooms. Oh, what is that? Is that beef jerky bag? I think that's a beef jerky bag. Okay, let's grab this. Beef jerky. I'm yet to use that once, and I've always wanted to. The next time we see dogs and stuff, I'm going to try entering a room, putting down a beef jerky, and then running, and see if they just ignore me. Because I'm hoping that's the way it works. It would be really nice. Let's do this one first. Okay. And this one now. Okay. Wow, a lot of clock. This is just like James's uh, run through this. Very. Uh, did I do six? I did. This is just, James's. This floor was locked up pretty heavily. Oh, here we go. Okay. Toothbrushes. Oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. What are you looking at? The door? I forget she looks at the doors. I don't like this one bit. I feel really uh, uh, kind of uh, nervous about this. Do we still have a... Uh, do we have any items that I don't remember? What the hell am I... I don't, want, well, I don't even want the memory of that thing. Okay. Shoot, I'm gonna have to heal soon. I don't like how it just. Oh no. Oh, okay. I don't know why I thought that it was gonna like not open. Oh. Damn it! She. I forgot they do that thing. Oh, there's one behind me. It shot me. Did something just shoot me? What was that sound? Cool, at least I get to finally use a... Oh, man. I finally get to use a... Uh, that. Something shot me. I heard boom. Oh, damn it. Come on, just turn. I knew it! Damn it. Oh, it's a gun. Damn it. They're armed. Oh, no. Damn it. I was hoping to get out of there. See, this is why I use the katana. Oh, this is awful. Uh, let's reload this because uh, because why not? Oh, you know what? Should we try this? Mm. Equip that. Man, and I have... Uh, I wonder if the mace knocks them flat the first time. So, like, maybe that's even a thing I could consider for some of these things. Dude, this is bad. Let's just... Oh, no! Come on! What the hell? Sometimes the hit detection is horrendous. Oh, 
whatever, just kick it then. Like that. Like, why didn't it? Oh my god, they're armed with guns now? Eight. Okay, you know what? Actually, just in case they were... I should have done this last time anyway. Broken. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Oh, can I block the, the bullets? Oh my god, I was I was about to say, is that phone gonna ring when I try to leave? Gross, the whole bed stinks of, like, year-old sweat. What if I ignore this? I almost want to ignore it. I bet, is it Stanley Cooper? Coleman, not Cooper. Maybe we get some exposition here. No, I'm not. Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. I don't think that would be Leonard or Stanley. of all mankind. <sighs> What's a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for Shoot. a second. Another player. I've heard enough from you already. Let him talk. How did you turn out? Antagonize him. Make them fight. Listen to me already. Be like, bring it, bitch. <laughs> I'm not Claudia. Don't say that. Mess with them. Psychological warfare. Claudia. They killed Harry. Who admittedly Please. apparently had it coming. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why are you what telling... Are you? Why are you giving people information? What kind of stupidity? Leonard? Leonard? It is Leonard. Sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Oh. Oh, how interesting. Okay, so they're connected. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. <sighs> when I find her, I I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words, the anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? Huh. So Leonard is older than I thought. But she she killed my father. She's a fool, but she's still my daughter. She's like telling them all the stuff too. Going to forgive her if she changed her ways. Why would you tell her? It's too late. Yep. Katana has her name on it. Stop, Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself, but the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. He's here? I have a seal. Why would he think that Claudia's here? A seal? Okay, so. A few things. The first one I want to get out of the way just because I'm going to forget all about it by the end of this because it's unrelated. But as far as. It seems like they're the end of the hall on the second floor. Okay, I'm gonna double check the map quick so we can try and see where that is. Cause I must, it probably was locked before and I thought I needed a key, but now it's gonna be unlocked because of like plot progression. I still have to find Leonard. Uh, oh, uh, I gotta look for the set entry key, okay. And, and this is all just smells like sweat apparently and it's a tissue box that's empty or something. Wait, is there, it looks like there, I thought there might be something sticking out of that. It looks almost like, like a black thing. Okay, whatever. So yeah, the first thing I want to say is they seem to be pushing pretty heavily that like her hatred is a thing. So I'm wondering already if that's uh, one of the ways in which the game can change the ending. How much you allow, like how off the deep end you allow uh, Heather to go in her hatred or like her desire for vengeance here. So while it's fun for me to play around running around with a katana and getting vengeance for Harry. Um, or making fun of Harry because now that, this, that stupid thing they added to that stupid book. Like... That's just for fun. Like, I really, I'm kind of curious to see where, like, when the time comes, what, if there are decisions. I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. It seems like that would be, uh, oh man, I hope they're not here and, okay, we're good. We're good. Still dead. But, um, but yeah, I figured I would forget that. So, uh, I'm gonna, it seems like they're pushing pretty heavily that this hatred thing is an important part of the plot and directionally where we go. Um, the second thing is that 
Leonard is Claudia's dad, which is interesting because now they're connected, but also, so he was in an insane asylum, but he has a kid. So there was a time he wasn't insane. I guess I assumed that these were fairly like young, unfortunate souls that just ended up here and then never left because they were nuts. You know, they were mad. But, uh, so Claudia is probably presumably a little bit crazy too, or maybe even she had him committed. Like, he seems like he's kind of bitter. He doesn't sound too crazy. I mean, maybe he's more crazy than, than he lets on, but at the same time, it just... Okay, and yeah, this... Okay, I think that's everything. So yeah, just things to keep in mind here. Uh, enemies will probably have spawned there. We're going to take the the door down, the, uh, the stairwell down to the second floor. I think we're making pretty decent progress, though. I'm waiting for this place to have something. Long load times. Yeah, thir third and second floor. Okay. End of the hall. This had stuff in it. Yep, run. And here, respawns. Now that they have guns, I wonder if I should be taking this more seriously. We have lots of healing items, so I'm not terribly concerned about... uh. This is kind of wacky, though. Like, a person in an insane asylum that is, like, part of this, these these crazy people. Oh, the end of the hole that way? Wait a minute. I do not remember that being there. Did I totally miss that? Am I stupid? Like, am I stupid? Did Was there one of these on the third floor? Or did this just appear due to suggestion? Just M? I think I would have recognized that. Did, well, I would have noticed this. Wouldn't I? This reminds me of the button from one. The, the fourth floor that just appears. Got a padlock on that thing. He could totally lock us in here. Yeah, there's no way that this is this is this is almost like created by suggestion. These people can now they've learned to to, to manipulate and influence. Holy shit! <laughs> they've learned to like manipulate this place. Okay, so they're making me go where they want me to go. If I turn back, I bet that... Actually, they probably let me go back. No, no, they might... No, yeah, because then I would get trapped here. Okay. I was, I was actually waiting for something like that to happen. I want to... If we came in here going north, we're now heading east. I'm trying to keep my, like, bearings here a little bit. We went around this thing. Yep. And then we kind of went in a circle. It looks like we, we ended up a little bit to the east of where we began, I think, is, is how, how my bearings played out. Oh, why are you doing that to me? No, no, no. I want to see. I saw it for a second. Okay, wait. This button. Let's back up. Damn it. <laughs> okay, let's... uh. I can't see though. I really want to see. And it won't let me. Okay, it just doesn't. Oh, Jesus. Fuck it. Oh. That looks like a dead end. That's where we came from. Oh, boy. What if I. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's go straight. Is it going to open? Nothing to say. Okay, so now there's north and there's south. Let's head north. Dead ends. South. Great. Another fork. Uh, tip this way. Okay. East. Oh! Uh! Another door. Also south. I'm waiting for like one of those to open. Like this would have closed or something. Maybe it'll make me... Oh. oh my god, yeah. Like no way back. 
This is different. This is different. This is not the same one. It's not the three circles. It's a triangle in the middle. That reminds me of Pyramid Head a little bit. What is this? What's the difference? Do they each have names? Shoot. Have they changed at some point and I totally didn't notice like that they were fooling me? Like fooling Heather maybe, but fooling me as the player? This is definitely different. I don't want to look at it. it. That's probably why we're here. We're trapped in here. They're making her look at it. So maybe not. Maybe this is the first time we've seen this. Oh, boy. I mean, not that it's going to make any difference, but uh, just in case, we're going to hit this button and this button. Oh, man. 35 minutes. Okay, wait. This is where we're going to stop because this is this is super interesting. Let me take a look at this thing. Can I, is there a way I can uh, wait? I'll go like this and then I'll move a little bit like that. And it looks like almost like it was done differently than the others. Like this one is drippy. Like the other ones are almost like a stamp on reality. Like they're like, there's like a mystical force to it in ways. But this was just like somebody, it looks like somebody like, not really because it would be a different color, but like almost like they're trying to suggest that this was painted in blood. Like you could see the, the dripping coming down off of it. And like, it's all different. There there are those, those glyphs around the outer edge because I don't know what else to call them other than glyphs. And... If those glyphs are part of the normal one, I think they look different, or at the very least, they're all dripping with whatever that blood stuff is supposed to be. Prob probably blood is the is what they're supposed to be like suggesting here. But then there's this triangle with almost like this like there's lots of circles in there. It's hard to tell because it's it's all drippy. But like, is that like a serpent or something? Oh man. Okay. Uh. uh Oh, okay. But yeah, this is where we're going to end it. This is where we're going to end it because this this is very interesting. Um, the, And I'm hoping this is the first time we've seen this, that this was like their plan all along to get her trapped in such a way where she would be forced to look at this. Because I, sur I surmised, like I, I was like, I was wondering if this whole time that we're looking into these things, but they're actually not like that's part of the plot. Like we're saving at them all the time. And every time she does it, something is happening that's part of their evil plan or something. But now it makes it seem like I was wrong all along. Like those maybe that's why they're safe points. They're actually like points of protection. This one is not. But we're going to look at it anyway. Very cool. Anyway, oh, thank you guys so much for joining me. I always appreciate it. And please like and subscribe if you liked the video. I will see you guys next time where we continue on with whatever this is. But uh, thank you again and I'll see you then.